بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The importance of the prayer in Islam cannot be understated Prayer is the first pillar of Islam that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioning after mentioning the testimony of the faith by which one becomes a muslim salah is obligatory on every muslim and should offer it five times a day with no excuse for its specific time importance of prayer salah on time can be understood by these hadith abdullah asked the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which deed is the dearest to allah he replied to offer the prayer at their early stated fixed time The purpose of salah is to put ourselves in touch with Allah Almighty to strengthen our relationship with him to be grateful for all his blessings and to remind ourselves of his greatness just like a person's body requires physical needs such as food and water the soul has also spiritual needs the needs of the soul are provided by acts of worship the most important of which is salah Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala mentioned in Quran chapter 8 surah Al-Anfal verse 24 Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu astajibu lillahi wa lirrasuli idha da'akum lima yuhyikum wa a'lamu anna Allah yahula bainal mar'i wa qalbihi wa annahu ilayhi tuhsharun O believers respond to Allah and his messengers when he calls you to that which gives you life and know that allah stands between a person and their heart and that to him you will all be gathered salah is the source of direct communication with allah almighty the messenger of allah holy prophet peace be upon him said when any one of you stands to pray he is com- communicating with his lord so let him pay attention to how he speaks to him the prayer should perform properly with true remembrance of allah almighty and turning to him for forgiveness after a person finish this prayer his heart will be filled with the remembrance of lord when someone offers salah regularly he she is strain away from sins allah almighty stated in the holy quran chapter 29 surah al ankabut verse 45 uttu ma uhiya ilayka min al kitab wa aqim as salat o prophet recite the book that has been revealed to you and establish prayer in as salat tanha an al fahsha wal munkar surely prayer forbids in decency and evil wala zikrullah akbar wallahu ya'lamu ma tasna'un and allah's remembrance is of even greater merit allah knows all that you do a human being is created weak and can be diverted from righteousness very easily without seeking from allah So don't you want to seek Allah's help to refrain yourself from evil effect the earlier you pray and if you pray on time Allah will guide you and shall refrain you from sinning my brothers and sisters salah is key to paradise for muslims as stated in the hadith of prophet muhammad peace be upon him the key to paradise is prayer the key to prayer is wudu a person who wants to obtain the key to paradise must perform prayer and open the door of paradise with it a person who does not perform prayers needs to see what he loses by abandoning prayer in another hadith prophet muhammad peace be upon him said between faith and unbelief is abandoning the prayer the difference between us and kufr non muslims is that of salah so whoever abandons salah certainly commits kufr The following is reported from Abdullah bin Amr bin Al Is. One day the messenger of Allah peace be upon him talked about prayer. He said, "The prayer of a person who performs five daily prayers without missing will be brightness, evidence and salvation for him on the day of judgment. And the person who does not perform five daily prayers properly will be together with Karun, Haman, Pharaoh and Ubay ibn Khalf." So we being a muslim need to prepare for our akhirah and always do a good deed we never know when our soul will leave our body and life after that is eternal therefore we should pray salah on time and our best effort should be in the direction of praying salah in the early hour 
as we all know that without remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we cannot find peace and eternal satisfaction and the best way to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is salah. Obviously. May Allah give us hadaya to prayer five times. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all on the straight path and prevent us from departing it. May He protect us from misguiding and evil temptation. Ameen. Jazakallah khair.